Maggie here again. Today we're going to look at how to measure a component of starch. Those of you with grains or potatoes have a product that is almost all starch, so you'll be measuring the amount of amylose in that starch instead of total starch like other groups. Let's talk a bit about starch. There are different shapes of starch granules. Rice has compound granules and wheat and potatoes have single elliptical granules. I think you'll already know from lectures that there are two types of starch. These are called amylose and amylopectin. Amylopectin forms the body of the starch granule and amylose molecules are long chains of starch in the granule. A starch granule needs to have amylopectin to be a granule, but amylose is not necessary for a granule to form. Amylose is made of much longer chains than amylopectin and we could think of it as a biological polymer. The amount of it that is present explains many of the sensory differences between varieties of starch containing foods. For example, rice with low amylose tends to be soft and sticky, while rice with high amylose tends to be firm to bite, the grains don't stick to each other, and the rice goes very hard on cooling. Potatoes with low amylose generally have a waxy, creamy texture, while potatoes with high amylose give that dry and crisply texture. The amylose content of starch ranges from 0 to about 30% of the starch. Amylose is essentially a linear molecule and the glucose units are linked through the carbon 1 of one glucose molecule with the carbon 4 of the next, creating straight chains. The way we measure amylose is to mix it with an iodine solution. Iodine molecules will bind inside the helical chains of starch. The complex forms a blue solution and we measure the absorption of the amylose iodine complex at 620 nanometers on a spectrophotometer and we quantify amylose using a standard curve. Let's look at the method. We need to start with powder of our samples and powder of our standards. We will do our measurements in triplicate and we must include a blank. Step 1 making solutions. Measure 100 mg of powder of each sample and each standard into three 100 ml flasks. Add 1 ml ethanol to wet the starch and help dissolve lipids. Shake, add 9 ml of sodium hydroxide and then make each to 100 ml. Step 2. Preparing the iodine starch complex. Pip at 0.5 ml of each solution into two test tubes. Add 5 ml water, 0.1 ml acetic acid, 0.2 ml iodine solution, then 4.2 ml water. You should have 10 ml in each test tube. Mix using a vortex. You will see differences in the degree of blueness in your samples. Measure at 620 nanometers. And use the blank to zero the spectrophotometer. Analyzing the data. Construct your calibration curve from the five standards, plotting absorbance against the value of each standard, which you will find in the SOC. Calculate the equation of the line and then calculate the amount of amylose in each of your samples. Good luck and see you next time!